Good morning. Don't have a whole lot to say this morning. I'm just, uh, I've been, I've been in the Word already this morning. I've been praying real hard this morning. I've been uh, thinking about what God would have me to do today. I've got a song for us. You can tell I got a guitar here. I've uh, also God's laid a couple of little scriptures on my heart, and it kind of goes along with what I'm going to play and what I want to say. Proverbs. I'm going to read Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 8. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel, and mar marrow to thy bones. Be health to your navel. I kind of get the feeling that means it'll keep you healthy. Trust in the Lord. The other scripture I wanted to read you was from Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things will be added unto you. With all the debate about everything going on health-wise and everything else right here, Holds every answer to everything you need to know. This book right here. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all other things will be added unto you. And when it says all other things, it means the things you need. Like your food. Roof over your head. Clothes to wear. And, you know, Paul said to be content if you had raiment and food you know be content be content with what god gives us god gave us our health god gave us an immune system to keep us healthy and he gave us good common sense to take care of ourselves you know they're talking about proverbs there solomon also wrote in ecclesiastes that there's nothing new under the sun everything that is has already been Everything that will be, was. So, you know, God created all life, whether it be a virus or anything else. He's in control of it. There's nothing any man can make or do to change that. I'm going to put my faith and my trust in the good Lord above, not in something that a man has made. I'm not telling you what to do. You do what you think is right and what you feel like God leads you to do. You pray about it real hard. I've been praying about it. But me, I know that Jesus died on the cross and shed his blood to give me the opportunity to stand up and be faithful and, and show my faith in him. And I have to show my faith in him because I cannot wear one of these little paper ma or cloth masks, either one. And, you know, why are these companies that make these things putting right on the box that it won't protect you from from it. They're trying to protect themselves from getting sued if you get sick. So, trust God. God will keep you and but for that to work, you're going to have to be saved. You're going to have to get down. You're going to have to tell him, Lord, I believe in you and I want you to lead me. I want you to guide me. I want to be yours. You got to put him first in everything that you do. You know, that same Holy Spirit that was flowing through the apostles flows through us. That Holy Spirit will protect you from anything and everything. But first, you got to put you got to put Him first. You got to come to Him, and you got to ask Him for forgiveness. That's the only way. That's the only way. But like I said, I got a little song for us here.
one pair of hands from the mountains one pair of hands from the sea One pair of hands made the sun and the moon Every bird, every flower, every tree One pair of hands from the valleys The oceans, the rivers and the sand Those hands are so strong So when life goes wrong Put your faith into one pair of hands One pair of hands heal the sick One pair of hands raise the dead One pair of hands on the raging storm and thousands of people were fed one pair of hands said I love you and those hands were nailed to a tree those hands were so strong so when life goes wrong Put your faith into one pair of hands Those hands are so strong So when life goes wrong Put your faith into one pair of hands Put your faith into one pair of hands It all comes together, don't it? Put your faith into one pair of hands. Y'all, the virus is real, but so is my God. My God is real, and He's promised to protect me, and He'll protect you too. All you got to do is put Him first in all things that you do. Ask Him to be your Lord and Savior. And put Him first in every single thing that you do. Guys, get out. Get out there today and be a witness. Be a light. Shine that light brightly. This old lost and dying world needs to see all of Jesus it can see right now. I pray every day that I can be closer to Him and be a better Christian and to serve Him more. And uh, right now... God's talking to me about doing some things and I feel like I'm being led to do a little more than what I'm doing right here. So I want you guys to help me pray for guidance and that the good Lord will show me exactly what my next step is and where I need to be going and what I need to be doing. I've kind of got a feeling that I know already where he's, where he's pointing to and but I want to be sure. I don't want to ever be out of the will of God. And that should be every one of us's desire to always be in God's will. I pray every time I get ready to do one of these videos. I pray before and I, I thank Him afterwards. It's a blessing to be on here. It's a blessing to be able to do what I do for the Lord because I've said it a million times and I'll keep saying it. I don't do this for Bim. It's not for me. I do it for the Lord. I want to lift him up. I want, to, I want the world to see what a great Savior I serve. I love each and every one of you guys. So please keep praying for me. God's got something for me. And I know he does. And he's going to keep, he's going to keep using me. And I know he is. I just, uh, I just need to, the wisdom and the knowledge to, to find that next step that he's wanting me to take. That's about the best way I can put it. And I would appreciate all the prayers that you guys could pour out there for me because, like I said, I want to be, I want to be in His will every day. I want to get closer to Him. I want to get so close to Him that when it's time to go, He just looks over at me and says, Oh, you're already ready. That's how close I want to be. Like I said, I want to be working when He comes back. I love you guys. Smile. Get out there and work for the Lord today. Even if you can't, 
if your job is not working because of the still being in phase two, get out and work for the Lord. He'll bless you for it. Love you guys. Be good. We'll talk to you soon.